Hey superstars, welcome back to the channel, to the channel. Welcome back, welcome back. So y'all, look what we got going on. My hair, oh honey, we on day four-ish. And my hair got a little bit of wet from the rain child, you know, them hurricanes out there producing all that weather out here. So our hair did not last as long as I wanted to, but when you have naturally curly hair, a little water is not gonna hurt nothing. So I figured before I go ahead and throw on the towel, okay, I was going to show you guys how I take my days old hair and create um, like new different styles. Like if I was going somewhere, you know, maybe meeting up with a friend, maybe like a little date night, a little quarantine at home, you know, whatever. I'm gonna show you guys just three easy, easy because again, y'all know I'm not no hairstylist, I ain't no professional, and I ain't all that savvy with all that craziness. So we're gonna do three easy, simple hairstyles to kind of just spruce up our look a little bit more. Um, if you guys are wondering, honey, we have the lip bar on today, boss lady, because I'm feeling like a bit of a boss, okay? You know what I'm saying? So yes, if you if it is your first time to the channel, my name is Angie. I know I'm like on a thousand right now. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm pumped up with a lot of energy. Um, but this is Life with Star. Welcome to Life with Star. Um, if you want to take this time before we get started to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss a single new upload coming your way, go ahead and do so now. I will wait for you. Okay, I'll wait. Go ahead, click it, click it. Come on, come on, click it, click it. Okay, perfect. All right. Cool. So now you're subscribed and you click the notification bell. We're ready to go. So yes, you guys. Do you guys remember when we did the little flexi rod hairstyle? Um, so you guys can still see like I got some real nice definition still. We got a little bit of frizz, you know, but that's to be expected. So I am going to show you guys how to create three quick, quick, okay, quick, easy um, hairstyles that can kind of take our look from um, what it is to what it ain't, okay? So first things first, bobby pins can be your bestest friend, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys the first style. And I have a little bit of the As I Am, and that is the Pomegranate and Passion Fruit Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And then we also have a little bit of Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink. There you go. Um, just maybe for like an added reinforcement. Okay, so I have, I don't have regular bobby pins because they didn't have any when I bought these. So I'm gonna use, mama gonna use what she got to get what she want. But these are the curled bobby pins. I don't know if you guys have used them before. And I'm not gonna, you know, say that they're better, you know, than regular bobby pins, straight bobby pin versus curled bobby pins. I don't know, okay? just here um but yeah so let's get started shall we okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I remember doing this style when I was a kid and I just kind of lightly twist my hair here right just like so and we're gonna start taking some of our bobby pins you guys can see they're curled come on let's see if the camera wants to focus now y'all can see now so you see it's curved so let me just retwist my hair like so this is a style you guys do not have to be a professional to complete okay and it works perfect because my hair is really old so what we're gonna do is we're gonna secure it in the back first so that we keep our hair in place, right? And now comes the fun stuff. So I need a couple more bobby pins here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use this as our base and we're going to create a train track of bobby pins. But you, now see, this is where I mess up. These are curled now, okay? Or curved. So you just gotta make sure that you keep the pin on the top part of your hair so it actually shows. You see that? Okay, I think we're good now. 
my hands are really slippery today and as I do it I take it straight from the edge so that it creates like the part in the hair yes gotta make sure you keep it on the top like so she's cute <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a good week or not good having a good week I hope you guys have had a good week because y'all made it honey look at that y'all so what I can do now is not start from here but I'm gonna start from the middle and now we're just going to start here just gotta make sure you keep the pin on top like so and I like doing stuff like this because it's not really anything that's like too intricate. It doesn't require, it's not a hairstyle that requires like a whole lot of skill. You know what I mean? And it's really just to kind of give your style, something's in my eye. My lashes are stuck. It's just something that just gonna kind of just switch up your style just a little bit. And just make it less boring. I don't think that went on the top. I can't tell you guys. There we go. Just like so. Okay, so then what I what I can do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my Aunt Jockey's Don't Shrink Gel, and we're gonna drag it along our hairline where our baby hairs is. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little brush here. like so nothing too crazy and then what I could do is I did bring my other little pick here not my pick it's not a pick it's like a comb pick though just so that we can oomph the hair up and then boom y'all look at that rock style lifestyle might don't make it hey hey so this is style number one and how I can take my boring hair add a couple bobby pants and then boom look it's a, like a hip new style child you can't tell me nothing can't tell me nothing you know what i'm saying boom all right now moving on to style number two all right you guys so now we're moving on i got hair flying to style number two and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to finger part my hair you gotta try to be careful. My hair is really together right now because it's super curly. And like I said, this is days old hair. And you know, when we do our wash and goes or our um, weekly hairstyles, ladies, like you don't really comb your hair out midweek. You know what I'm saying? You kind of do that as you're about to do your hair. So what I can do is, is I take just a little section of my hair for the top, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little brush here and I brush everything up like so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my hair bands here and I'm gonna tie it as tight, but as comfortable as possible. Now, I did not part it precisely for a reason, y'all, okay? You just wanna kinda wrap this around as much as you can, but not too tight to where it's gonna be uncomfortable. Like so. And then what I'm gonna do is, right? I'm gonna take a piece of the hair from the back piece of hair that's not going to be missed right and what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna wrap it around the band, y'all. Just like so. And what I'm gonna do is literally like kind of tuck it underneath on the bottom to keep it in place. And then what I do, this is giving me very Spice Girls, 90-ish vibes. Right? Okay, now because our forehead is looking very large, okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of our Aunt Jackie's, again, on the edge line, and we're going to totally disrupt my makeup here. And then, boom, hairstyle number two. What you gonna do, honey, baby? It's nothing too crazy, but you know, it's just a little something for the kids, okay? So yes, there we go. Hairstyle number two. All right, now we are going to do one of my most favorite hairstyles to do, okay? And that is a messy top knot bun. And it actually works pretty doggone good when my hair is curly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unravel our hair here. All right, I got it. I mean, in theory, you guys, I don't think that you would even switch out your hairstyle this fast um, at the end of your hair week. Um, so pick one style and like rock that for a couple days and then you can keep it moving, okay? <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. The backside of your hair, you never wanna stress too much about. Especially like for me, because I find that when us curly haired girls, um, the backside of our hair is normally what gets the most um, knotty. So I'm using the hair, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, all around the perimeter of my hair here. And that's just gonna help condition the hair and soften the, the curls so that they can be a little bit more manageable and I'm able to brush my hair a little bit better because after this honey it's gonna be time for a wash okay so as y'all see like so now what I can do is I can leave a little bit of the hair out like this I can finger part it I could just let it separate right right where it's wanting to this is where it's kind of wanting to separate and I could leave it like this but I'm gonna let it go to this side because that's the side that it's wanting to fall on, y'all. I normally would part my hair going this way, but we're gonna let it go the way that it's wanting to go. And that is to the side. All right, whew, y'all. Talk about stretching that hair. Y'all see it, honey? Should I do like this, you guys? Or should I just take everything up with it and do one of these numbers? We're gonna do this. All right, you guys, so we're gonna do this number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get my hair as smoothed out. I can't find my other brush, like my harder one. You know, the one that your mama used to use on you when you was a kid and it would hurt. And then if you move, she would pop your ass. I just hate when I have like the bubbles in my hair. I'm gonna try to use my nails a little bit to smooth this out as best as possible. But if you're a curly hair mama, you know the struggle. Whew! All right, you guys. Now the key in this working is we literally have to tie for our lives, okay? Because you wanna try to keep it as high as possible because <laughs> y'all see I got it all the way turned to the top <sighs> all right y'all bear with me we'll be back in just a second <laughs> y'all that was kind of hard okay so y'all see what we looking like right kind of got like 
a mushroom head going on here but that's okay so this is where the bobby pins come back into play so what we're gonna do is is we're just gonna randomly take our hair and we're just gonna kind of um, tuck it in different places so we'll tuck here like so And because our hair is curly, it really doesn't matter like how we do it. It's meant to be like a messy-ish bun anyway, y'all. So don't y'all get to stressing out. We won't let that makeup stuff stress us out. We're not gonna let this hair stuff stress us out either, okay? Okay. Tuck. Cause we can let some of the little, you know, the little coils that want to kind of just come out and play we can let them come out and play that's okay we don't discriminate add as many pins as you want to but you don't want to add too much that then you lose like you still want to have that that volume Boom! Hairstyle number three, baby. So how y'all like this? This is literally like our curly, top knot, messy bun. Okay, I'm feeling this. So yes, superstars, we are done. We have given you three hairstyles that you guys can totally accomplish with your days old hair and create a new updated fresh look to get you through the rest of the week until you get to wash day, honey. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, um, give it a thumbs up and drop down in the comments which style you feel is a style that you would most gravitate towards. Is it style number one, which was our bobby pin curl madness? Or was it style number two, very 90s vibe, half up, half down-ish um, style, or was it this? Number three, our top knot messy curly bun. You guys, drop it down in the comments and let your girl know. I wanna know. Tell me what it is that you guys would gravitate towards. Other than that, follow me on Instagram, underscore life with star with two R's, underscore TikTok, life with star with two R's. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, um, let your girl know. And then as always, spread love because it's free, which means that it's what? Yes, it is cheap for you, which means that it costs nothing to tell somebody that you love them. And I love you guys. Bye, superstars.